The other thing is that they've had a lot of guys step up. Take a look at Jeremiah Wusu koromoa against the run. These are all qualifying uh, linebackers. He is first in average depth of tackle, so that, that leads to, like, tackle per loss type of things at .9. So he's tackling somebody before they gain a yard uh, on average. First in run stop percentage, uh, almost 13%. He's also 10th in pass rush win rate, and he's tied for third in tackles for loss. Um, and, again, that's a guy that he's not playing 100% of snaps. Yeah. It just makes me wonder if he could have done this last year had they had a professional defensive tackle room. Because we were in here just every every day we talked about, it, like, they got to get someone in here. Now they have people up front keeping him clean. He is a, a pure difference maker. And, uh, you know, when you look at tackle numbers, those can be misleading because we can think back to someone like Joe Schobert, who's led the league in tackles, but those tackles come five, seven yards down the field as opposed to someone like JOK who's stopping the ball at the line of scrimmage, making impact plays. And I think he's just scratching the surface of what he could be. And I think the accolades are going to follow. I think you're looking at someone who should make the Pro Bowl this year and maybe even get consideration for all pro. You look at it, there were guys, young guys, that were getting opportunities who, who showed up and made plays. Alex Wright comes to mind. The safeties, D'Anthony Bell, Ronnie Hickman. I mean, those are rookie, un, you know, Hickman, rookie undrafted. D'Anthony Bell was an undrafted rookie when he was signed. So, again, it, they're having all levels, both sides of the ball, are preparing guys to step in and play. Is it because... The, the, you know, the, the defense isn't as complicated as it was in the past? That has to have some part to do with it. You know, especially up front, you're just expected to go be aggressive, go hunt, not a lot of thinking. And then so that, that plays to all these guys' athletic strength and just let them be aggressive. But on the back end, to play safety in this league, <laughs> I don't care what scheme you're in. That is complicated. And uh, to see two undrafted free agents step in there and, and hold their own. I mean, they were both near the top of the league in PFF grading this week, you know, and there at no point during the game did you look at them as a weak link. You know, and I think that just speaks to their preparation and the preparation of the defensive back coaches and, and having them ready to play. Because if you think back to two weeks ago, Hickman didn't find out he was starting till an hour before the game when Thornhill was ruled out during pregame. Stepped right in. You know, I just think that that's the mentality that's, that's echoing through the building of next man up and prepare like a starter. And you're seeing the fruitions of it on the field. It'll be a, a different challenge. Uh, the passing game for the Houston Texans, assuming it's C.J. Stroud, is, is pretty proficient. So um, it, it'll be a challenge this week for sure.